Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome everyone to my channel This video is part of the explanation of the topic we'll be discussed in the first lecture of Introduction to Marine Technology Course In this course, the topics that will be discussed include Offshore structure, marine industry, marine operation, marine system, the ship production, classification, society, and etc. Now, let's learn more about Introduction to Marine Technology Definition. The introduction of marine technology is intended to provide basic insight and hands-on understanding of marine technology and the general marine sectors. Based on IMO, or International Maritime Organization, the maritime transport is essential to economies over 90% of the world trade is carried by sea, and it is by far the most cost-effective way to move on mass goods and raw materials around the world. Then what exactly is the meaning of marine technology? And what are included in its scope? Marine technology is defined as technology for the safe use, exploitation, protection of and intervention in the marine environment. Marine technology explores the technical aspect of the ship in unique way. It provides future engineering scientific knowledge and skills to solve the challenges of ship and ship system design, construction, and operation. Now that we have the definition, let's learn about the technology involved in marine technology. Number one, to naval architecture, the marine engineering, ship design, ship building, and ship operations. The naval architects are professional engineers who specialize in the design, construction, conversion, repair, serving, and decommissioning of ship, boats, and offshore structures. The marine engineers are responsible for the efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly operation of machinery and system on board ship and oil rigs. They are involved in design, construction, installation, operation, maintenance, and repair of the main propulsion engines and auxiliary machinery and system for an in all type of vessel boats and marine equipment. Number two, oil and gas exploration, exploitation and production. Oil and gas exploration involve process and method related to the exploration of potential oil and gas drilling and production sites. Oil and gas exploration is one of the most capital intensive industry and requires expensive equipment and a highly skilled workforce. When the company locates the oil or gas, the drilling plane begins. Number three, hydrodynamics. In the field of ship flow mechanics, the interaction between the ship and the surrounding liquid is considered navigation sea surface and subsurface support underwater technology and engineering. Number four, Marine resources, including both renewable and non renewable resources. Natural resources are materials or things that people use from the earth. There are two types of natural resources. The first are renewable natural resources. They call renewable because they can't grow again or never run out. Second are called non renewable natural resources. These are things that can run out or be used up and they usually come from the ground. Number five, two transports, logistics and economics. Number six, inland coastal short sea and deep sea shipping. Short sea shipping, abbreviated as SSS or triple S, is to maintain transfer of goods or over relatively short distance as opposed to the intercontinental coast ocean deep sea shipping Therefore, the short sea shipping also includes beta services, one of this port called a hub port. The hub port is support to port info network aimed at consolidating or redistributing cargo to and from the sea services. The short shipping was used coastal and inland materials to move goods to national port or adjacent countries. Number seven the protection of the marine environment, nature, and safety, the pollution affect water and the marine life that inhabit it and can threaten human health. One boat 
may not seem important on seawater, but the waste generated by thousands of it has doubled, and the impact is overwhelming. Most of this pollutant come from marine debris, sewage, ship maintenance, and cleaning. The Maritime Cluster The Maritime Cluster is geographic consultation of similar or related maritime firms such as Shipping Seafood, Marine Technology and Port Operation and Maritime Industry is one of the category in the cluster. The Maritime Industry refers to the activities of various organizations engaged in the design, construction, operation and maintenance of ship and structure and their components. It doesn't include for organization of lobbying ship, regulation, insurance survey and financing. Let's look through these figures. These are organizations that participate in maritime industry and this figure also shows the complexity of the industry with many players and huge network of relationship between them. As we can see that there is a relationship between the legal, the design and the builder and also between high and brokers and agents and crew and etc. Next in the maritime cluster there's also the yachts and supply industry. Attempting to move the company's product from one place to another requires a lot of logistics. Everything from warehouse industry business to be taken into account. That's why the yard is needed. The yard management system takes into account activity that takes place in the yard before the item issue. Regulatory bodies. The shipping industry is primarily regulated by the International Retail Organization or IMO a London-based United Nations agency responsible for the safety of life at sea and the protection of the marine environment. The IMO's United Nations specialized agent responsible for measure to improve the safety and security of international shipping and prevent pollution by ship. The IMO is currently focused on ensuring that the treaties adopted are properly implemented by signatories. These signatories are responsible for the implementation and enforcement of international treaties that the, the national law. Next is the maritime services. These services include various functions such as crew services, new construction and conversion, commerce and management, technical and operational support services uh, that are essential for the smooth operation of modern fleet at sea. The services provided are extensively based on include design consulting insurance, brokerage classification and financial services. Okay, the next is ship owner. The owner ownership that is equipped and used to deliver the cargo at a certain price. Price can be calculated for shipment and per day. Since the ship owner is primarily a shipping company, the captain and crew are usually hired. Technical management is usually done by the owner, but outsourcing is feasible. Next is oil companies. Based on IBIS, the market research report, the oil and gas industry is one of the largest sectors in the world in terms of dollar value, generating an estimated $5 trillion in global revenue as 2022. Oil is crucial to the global economic framework, impacting everything from transportation to heating and electricity to industrial production and manufacturing. Next is ship operator. Ship operators are responsible for managing vessel performance, bunkers, quality and quantity pricing, and ship routine. In most cases, the ship operators are usually at the same time with the owning of the ship. They are also known as shipping companies. The four largest are AP Polymers, 
Costco and Italian's and Mitsui OS clients. Classification societies. The classification societies are organizations that establish and apply technical standards in relation to the design, construction, and survey of marine related facilities, including shape of your structures. The classification society are non-governmental organizations that set and apply design and construction rules during construction to ensure that vessel structure and the ship will comply with those rules. Many nations have their own classification society working closely with the flag state of the country. Society are a member of the London Beast International Association of Classification Society or IX. The top five leading classification society in 2021, according to the list, are the NVGL class, NK, IBS, Lloyd Register, and China Classification Society. Their anonymous range national, regional, and international regulation imposed on ship owners and operators to ensure that their operations are covered in safe and secure manner. That's all for today. Let's continue with the shipbuilding topic in the next session. Thank you.